If you are in India or an Indian, you all must have listened to this news last year. India has announced its first significant discovery of reserves of lithium, a rare mineral crucial for manufacturing of electric vehicles. The quantity of the deposits would make India the seventh largest source of lithium globally. But it's the lightest metal on earth, therefore very very important. It has the lowest density of all metals, two times lower than that of water. It forms only 0.0007% of the earth's crust spread across the globe, so it's very rare. The Geological Survey of India announced a game-changing discovery. Lithium reserves of 5.9 million tons in Jammu and Kashmir, Riyasi district. This positions India among the top 10 countries with lithium reserves. But here's a kicker. No private companies are interested to bid for this treasure. Why? Let's break it down. In the morning of 9th February 2023, there was an unusual buzz at AP Shinde Symposium Hall at National Agriculture Science Complex in New Delhi. This routine event by Geological Survey of India or GSI was different this year. Typically, GSI presents its annual program and shares findings with the state government. But this year, GSI officials had something extraordinary to share. The GSI handed over 16 geological reports, 35 geological memorandums, covering 51 mineral blocks across 11 states and 70 reports of coal and lignite with the total resources of 7,897 million tons to the Ministry of Coal. However, the most significant report was about the lithium reserves in the Salal Himana area of Riyasi district, Jammu and Kashmir. This finding, based on the exploration during the pandemic between 2020 and 2022, catapulted India into the global lithium map. The reaction was immediate and intense. At least half a dozen of companies showed interest in developing the precious resources. High-profile names like Sajjan Jindal's, JSW Group, Hindalco Industries, Ola Electric, Vedanta Group. Sajjan Jindal's, the chairman of JSW Group, even told the Financial Times in April 2023 that he would 100% bid for the lithium blocks, a claim he reiterated in the March 2024. Overwhelmed by such interest, the government moved quickly. In August 2023, rules were amended to allow private miners to bid for the critical minerals, including lithium. By November, the stage was set for the auction of these resources. The reserves in Kashmir were among 20 blocks of minerals worth an estimated of 45,000 crore put up for the bidding. However, the auction in January 2024 was sobering reality check. The reserves in Kashmir received only two bids, forcing the government to cancel the auction, as less than three bidders make the process invalid. So why the hesitation? Let's dive deeper. Now it is very much important first of all to understand the exploration stages. Mineral deposits are classified into four stages, G4 to G1. As per the United Nations International Framework Classification for Reserves and Resources, the reserves in Kashmir are classified as G3, which is the second stage of the primary exploration. G3 findings are the inferences about the mineral resources where quality, grade, and mineral content are estimated with low confidence. Following G3, geologists conduct more intense exploration to reach to G2, the general exploration stage, and finally the G1, the detailed exploration stage. This process can take years, even decades, from one stage to the next. For instance, the deposit in Kashmir were first mapped and reported by the GSI in 1999, the G4 stage. It has taken nearly 25 years to reach G3. Moving to G2 involves detailed geological studies to estimate the mineral shape, size, and grade. The final G1 stage involves widespread drilling to accurately determine the mineral shape and size, making it closer to actual extraction. Siddharth Goel, lead of energy program at the International Institute of Sustainable Development, explains that it takes on average 16.5 years from the discovery of crucial materials to the production. With the JNK resources currently at Inford, G3 stage further exploration is needed to determine the reserve's extent and economic recoverability. Typically, bidding is most intense for the G1 minerals. Therefore, the lack of bidders for the G3 stage reserves comes as a no surprise to the mining experts. The second major factor is the technical challenge. Most of the lithium mined globally is found either in brine form in South America or as a hard rock in Australia. The lithium in Kashmir is found in clay deposit mixed with other minerals, including bauxite. 
Commercial scale extraction of lithium from clay deposit is yet to be tested globally, adding another layer of risk. BK Bhatia, Additional Secretary of the Federation of Indian Miners Industries or FEMI, an industrial body notes that bidding for resources at the preliminary exploration stage is considered very risky. There is no certainty about the quality or the quantity, making it difficult for the companies to put a fair value on the resources solely based on the GSI assumptions. The third stumbling block is the location itself. Riyasi is situated just 50 kilometers from the line of actual control in the politically volatile state of Kashmir. This region is one of the least mined in India. Additionally, the Himalayans are ecologically fragile mountain range. The recent land subsidence in nearby Rambat and Joshimath in Uttarakhand underscores this region's fragility. Lithium mining is water intensive, requiring about 2.2 million liters of water to extract just one ton of the metal. This could lead to resistance from the environmental groups and local population. Cullen S., a senior fellow at Peterson Institute of International Economics, points out that large resources discoveries in peripheral region, far from the capital and locus of the government power, are often politically destabilizing. This is especially true when resources are found in area dominated by ethnic or religious group facing significant discriminations. Despite these challenges, the importance of lithium can't be overstated. Lithium is a critical component in the global fight against the climate change. It forms the bedrock of the batteries that power industries such as energy, consumer electronics and transport. For India, an import-dependent economy, the discovery of this reserve is a significant deal. Lithium mine imports have skyrocketed from $94 million in 2014 to nearly $3 billion in 2024, with demand set to surge further Local lithium reserves could help mitigate this import dependency. The International Institute for Sustainable Development or IISG estimates that India demand for lithium will grow from 1,634 tons in 2022 to between 60,000 and 93,000 tons by 2050. Currently, the electronic sector accounts for more than half of this demand, but electrical vehicles are expected to drive further the demand. EVs could also account for nearly 75% of lithium demand by 2050. Globally, the South American Lithium Triangle of Bolivia, Chile and Argentina holds more than half of the world lithium reserves. However, production is concentrated in Australia, Chile and China. Moreover, China controls two-thirds of the world refining capacity for lithium. Currently, about 75% of India's imported lithium-ion batteries comes from China. For India to become truly self-reliant, it needs to develop not just mining capabilities but also sufficient refining capacity. Siddharth Goel of ISD emphasizes that India will need access to capital and technology to extract lithium and build processing and refining infrastructure. Given the uncertainty about the scale of the reserves and long time lag before the production can start, India cannot be complacent in sourcing lithium externally to meet its clean energy ambitions. Even if everything falls into place, it will be years before lithium production can take off in India. But this discovery is a significant first step. Fortunately, despite the initial auction failure, neither the government nor the industry has given up. That's all for today. How do you like this episode? Please share your thoughts in your comment box. Also, please like, share and subscribe for more such interesting content. See you soon.